this is an extremely difficult case of a completely dislocated traumatic lens and uh, you can see the lens is tilted there is no zonular support at all and uh, I have decided to go ahead and perform a scleral fixated eye oil fixation and here I am fashioning my Hoffman tunnels 180 degrees apart So I like doing this rather than the scleral flaps, although the scleral flaps are easier. But then you have to do a peritomy and you have to raise a flap. I did get some bleeding, so the, my plane is not exactly great on the other side, but it's okay. And see when I enter with my side port, I have gone straight into the lens, it is tilted really badly. It's a wonder that it hasn't gone and settled down. That's only because the vitreous is well formed. So it is still in place. I open the uh, uh, my frown incision, scleroconial incision. And I hope this lens can squeeze through. You can see it's completely dislocated. Contrary to what people think that if you pressurize the chamber, the lens is going to go straight into the vitreous, it doesn't happen unless the vitreous is syneretic or you do a vitrectomy, that's not going to happen. And you can see, slowly the whole new uh, lens has been delivered with its capsule, clean without any vitreous. However, I'm not taking any chances, I'm going ahead and doing to me because once I put in my scleral sutures, I am going to be disturbing the vitreous quite a bit. So, go ahead to a bit of anterior highlight, anterior vitrectomy. I cannot do a complete uh, vitrectomy like these retinal surgeons do. I think this is enough, although they may say contrary stuff. And I should have closed the incision and done this. But this is a vitrectomized eye. It's going to be soft. There is a large incision there, although it is self-sealing. Anyway, I have got one. I have railroaded one scleral suture through a Hoffman tunnel. I go about one millimeter onto the limbus on either side. You can go one, 1.5 millimeter, whatever. So that's one suture done. I got to get the other one as well. Just pressurizing the chamber with some HPMC. Very difficult to put these needles and suture in these soft globes. And you have to go vertically down and then turn. Got my 26 gauge needle through behind the iris. And I am coming around with my scleral suture. Good thing I have been able to thread it immediately. Bring it out. And that's done. One really difficult part of the surgery has been done. Don't tangle your sutures, keep them apart. This uh, teno nylon is extremely difficult to handle. Nowadays we use nino nylon, but this has been done more than 10 years ago. That time we were using only teno nylon. And here I am tying up the haptics. This is heavily edited, so difficult to tie the haptics with these sutures and place some eight knots or so, seven eight knots, which I usually do. trimming that bit and now to put on the eye oil without entangling your sutures so got one haptic and trying to get the other haptic posterior to the uh, iris it's a rigid lens it's not and uh, 
with little tug i have been able to get that other haptic i'm going to now pu pull it into place sorry about the cornea my assistant is not too fast in wetting the cornea and once i have picked up the slack and got it into place it is time to now pull out my the suture ends through the ah that's better finally i did it myself put in some viscoelastic the lens looks fairly well centered there is no tilt it doesn't seem to be tugging on the iris anywhere and that's a good sign and now i have to pull out these switches from the hawkman tunnel i use a sinski hook for that that's one done and then that's the other one done on this side obviously i have already cut off the needle on needles so i've taken out from one side i take out from the other side make sure you have a mental image of which suture you're pulling and keep them apart so that you don't confuse them so once i've got the lens into place i will slowly tighten one side watching carefully the other side don't tighten too much and i'll end up in trouble should be equal tension on both sides done one side now doing that and when you watch how the lens rotates so this is one good thing about uh, the scleral fixated lens doing on these rigid lenses the knot tends to move on the haptic and it will adjust up to some extent so you don't have to be too worried make sure you cut off these suture ends uh, and they are not uh, peeping out of the hoffman tunnel they should be retracted well within the tunnel i just then have to take out all this viscoelastic this is a 5.2 lens so you will see some optic if the pupil dilates a bit but with that pupil it's fine it looks good i have to conclude with putting some intracameral antibiotic and i close the conjuncta with some wet field cautery Thank you very much for watching.